Hello and welcome to the channel, it's me Chris Brooks, I hope everyone's well. So, I came across this article, and the article was printed in, well I say printed, it's online, and it's on newswise.com, and it's Bill Gates Court Funding Experiments to Make Bird Flu Spread to Humans, and it's written by a bloke called Reese Walker, So, and this was dated on February the 11th, 2025 so let's have a read of it shall we and then you can tell me what you think here we go microsoft founder bill gates has been secretly funding experiments that seek to modify h1n1 bird flu to jump to humans and spread rapidly through global populations the bill gates foundation awarded the university of wisconsin madison a 9.5 million dollar grant to conduct research on making the H5N1 virus transmissible to humans and other mammals. The McCullough Foundation, led by Dr. Peter McCullough, shared on X that this funding, directed to UW Madison and principal investigator Yoshihiro Kawaka, involves modifying H5N1, potentially using gain of function techniques. The experiments hope to ensure bird flu preferentially recognises human-type receptors and transmits efficiently in mammals. Similar to how bat coronaviruses were altered in laboratories to jump from bats to humans, H5N1 naturally infects birds. Building on prior research by Ron Fouchier, who demonstrated how H5N1 could become airborne in ferrets, the UW-Madison team has identified two additional mutations necessary to make Egyptian H5N1 capable of producing mammalian transmissible variants. This reveals that the Gates Foundation has been funding activities akin to bioterrorism by providing the framework for others who might weaponize H5N1. The McCullough Foundation stated in a tweet addressing the unsettling implications of this research. In 2006, Kawaka, along with colleague Taisuke Horimoto, conducted a study focused on creating new vaccines for H5N1 influenza A. During that period, fears of an H5N1 pandemic loomed large, but ultimately failed to materialise into a crisis like the COVID-19 pandemic. At the time, both birds and humans reportedly contracted H5N1, prompting concerns about the potential for a global influenza pandemic. Kawaoka and Horimoto underscored the urgency of developing effective vaccines, stating, effective vaccines against H5N1 virus are urgently needed. While an H5N1 pandemic never came to pass, a new narrative is unfolding. Millions of birds have been culled across the United States due to alleged infections. And now the Gates Foundation is directing resources toward research aimed at enhancing H5N1's transmissibility to humans. According to UW Madison, the five-year grant focuses on pinpointing mutations that could act as early indicators of potential pandemic influenza strains. Early intervention is essential for controlling influenza outbreaks, Kawaoka explained. But to intervene, we need to recognize the pandemic potential of emerging viruses early on. A university statement highlights that avian viruses rarely infect humans or other mammals. However, it notes that sporadic mutations can alter this dynamic, creating the conditions for a pandemic. While the exact mechanism of these mutations is left unexplained, the research aims to create an early warning system to identify such changes before they lead to global outbreaks. The ability to predict whether a virus has pandemic potential would be an invaluable asset to global health efforts, Kawaka stated. Intervening early with measures such as social distancing, antiviral treatments and vaccine production could save millions of lives. So, there you have it. I've never heard of that new site before. So, tell me what you think. Is it just a load of guff or do you think there's some, some stuff behind this that gives it a bit of gravitas and... Well, we all know what Bill Gates is, don't we? So nothing would surprise me. I just don't know how accurate that is. So do let me know in the comments. Look after yourselves. Take care and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.